dear students how are you did you read the chapter yesterday did you understand what i told you yesterday shall we revise shall we recall we read about circulatory system and the circulatory system it consists of blood heart and blood vessels do you remember now what is the function of blood can you tell me what does blood do for us yes it transports hormones and waste material and oxygen carbon dioxide and nutrients to the body it takes oxygen and it bring back carbon dioxide okay so now we read that heart blood and blood vessels they all the three they make the circulatory system or they are the organs of circulatory system all of you know that a system is when three four or more organs together function for the same thing so we were doing about circulatory system and today i am going to tell you about our heart have you ever felt your heart beat put your hand here and just feel the heart beat are you listening are you feeling something like this tick tick like this do you feel yes this is your heart beat what your heart is doing your heart is pumping all the time continuously even when you are sleeping then also your heart is pumping pumping what it is pumping blood to the body what is the what is the size of your heart this is the size of your heart your closed fist mutti this is the size of your heart and your heart is located here in the rib cage which organ is also located in the rib cage another organ which is protected by the rib cage yes that is your lungs your lungs and your heart they both are protected in the rib cage because they are delicate organs that is why they are protected in the rib cage so that it may not get hurt that we will read in that we will learn in skeletal system okay so now we are i am going to tell you about the structure of heart this is the structure of heart if you make a card for your mother what you do you make the heart like this it is not the proper structure this is what we draw for our convenience but the heart is of this shape it is broader at the upper end and it becomes narrow at the lower end and this is called apex here towards the apex it is narrow and on the upper side it is broader now all of you know that our heart is four chambered our heart is human heart is four chambered means there are four chambers in the heart right ureticle right ventricle left ureticle and left ventricle so all the human being they have the heart which is four chambered now how does the blood comes into the heart and how does the purified blood goes out from the heart first of all what happens all the blood from the body is collected and given to the right ureticle okay the right ureticle pumps the blood into the right ventricle from here superior vena cava it is the vein what it do yesterday i also told you about veins and arteries do you remember what are arteries and what are veins arteries what they do what kind of blood arteries are having oxygenated because arteries are taking away the blood from the heart so they are having oxygenated blood means oxygen rich blood and the veins they are bringing the blood to the heart so the veins are having deoxygenated the blood that is carrying carbon dioxide so that superior vena cava it brings the deoxygenated blood deoxygenated means the blood that carries carbon dioxide it brings the blood to the heart in heart is that blood is poured into right ventricle 
and sorry right uricle and from right uricle it is poured into the right ventricle now from the right ventricle the blood it passes through the lungs what the lungs do when we inhale air the air it is carrying number of gases it goes into our lungs lungs only take oxygen from that air and give out the air along with the oxygen sorry along with the carbon dioxide now lungs they purify the blood how they purify the blood this blood is carrying oxygen or carbon dioxide yes this blood is carrying carbon dioxide because veins have brought it from the whole body so from right or uh, uricle the blood goes to right ventricle from the right ventricle blood goes to the lungs now lungs what they do they take the carbon dioxide from the blood and then give the oxygen which you have inhaled in which you do like this when you inhale the air you take oxygen also and when you inhale the air it is carrying oxygen from that air lungs take the oxygen give them to the blood and take the carbon dioxide from the blood and give it to back to your nose and you exhale out okay now the blood which is in the lungs it is carrying oxygen it is oxygen rich blood or it is oxygenated blood that blood lungs do not give back to right ventricle remember this lungs never give back the blood to the right ventricle lungs take the blood from the right ventricle but it gives to the left ureter and then from the left ureter the blood is poured into left ventricle and from the left ventricle the blood oxygenated blood the blood carrying oxygen that is distributed to the whole body it repeats again and again the same thing happens in pure blood or deoxygenated blood or the blood carrying carbon dioxide is brought to the right ureter from right ureter it is poured into right ventricle and from right ventricle it goes to the lungs and then from the lungs it comes to left ureter from left ureter it comes to left ventricle and from here the blood is distributed to the whole body clear now this is called double circulation because to give you the blood to give you oxygenated blood the heart has to pump twice one like this again like this it has to expand it when it expands the blood is poured when it contracts the blood is given out to the lungs again it expands and the blood comes from the lungs here and then it contracts and the blood from the left ventricle it goes to the body so to give you the pure blood heart has to pump twice that is why this is called double circulation again i am revising what is double circulation or how the heart functions now what happens the blood in pure blood that comes to the right ureter from the right ureter it goes to the right ventricle from right ventricle it goes to the lungs so that lungs can add oxygen to the blood and take out carbon dioxide from the blood after adding oxygen to the blood the blood is poured into left ureter from left ureter the blood is poured into left ventricle and again from left ventricle the whole blood is distributed to all the body parts now how this happens that this blood come here this blood come here have you ever observed when you open the tap then only the water comes and if you close the tap no water is there same happens here there are some valves these valves open and the blood comes here okay and here also from left ureter when the pure blood comes to the left ventricle there are valves tap type structure which opens and the blood from left ureter it comes to the left ventricle is it clear now shall we revise it 
what happens? Again, I am telling you, in the heart, all the impure blood is brought to superior vena cava. It is poured into right uricle. And from right uricle, the blood passes. Right uricle is having deoxygenated blood. And that same blood is passed into right ventricle. It is not cleared. It is just poured into right ventricle. Why? Because right ventricle is connected to the lungs. They will take the blood to the lungs. Then the lungs will clear the blood and they will not return it back. They will give it to left uricle and from left uricle the blood will go to left ventricle and from left ventricle the blood will go to the whole body. Don't think that the heart is cleaning the blood. No. Heart is a pumping organ. It is just pumping out the blood. The blood is cleaned by the lungs. Lungs clean the blood. Who cleans the blood? Lungs. They clean the blood. Again I will revise it so that you can remember it. Because number of students they get confused. Who cleans the blood? They say heart. Never think. Heart only pumps the blood. That is why heart is called pumping organ. Because heart only pumps the blood and lungs, they clean the blood. So lung is cleaning organ. Lung is cleaning organ and heart is just a pumping organ. The heart, lung, they clean the blood. They take out carbon dioxide from the blood and they give oxygen to the blood. Is it clear up to here? So today we have read about the circulation of blood and the structure of heart. Clear? Thank you.